What's up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the Seagate Barracuda Fast SSD, which is Seagate's new portable SSD. They also have the Fast SSD and the Firecuda SSD, which is an internal storage. This is obviously external, it's got USB plugins and just make things really easy. Now it comes in this cool green and black packaging and also has a green LED light that pops up. So it sort of looks like it's made from Xbox or the Hulk or something along those lines, but it looks cool either way. It comes in three storage sizes. You've got 500 gigs, one terabyte, which we have here, and two terabytes, which is the biggest, which sort of makes me think that I might not need to be using big spinning disk hard drives anymore because if we can get these in two terabytes, even three or four terabytes in the future, there will be no need. But for now, we're gonna go unbox it and review it. This is their high performance USB-C external SSD which we mentioned comes in 500 gigs, one terabyte and two terabytes. So it comes XFAT formatted, so it's ready for Mac and PC. First thing you notice is the Adobe Creative Cloud. You get a two month membership, which Seagate is doing with most of their drives now, just as a little add on. And you notice this nice green packaging, which is the Barracuda colors and the sort of cool green shape there line that you'll see once we unbox. So let's get straight into it. I believe I've opened the bottom. There we go. All right. Now let's check the, what have we got? Adobe Creative Cloud. Amazingly simple. Thank you for that. And here is your manual. Tells you how to plug it in. You've got USB-C and USB-3 and the Seagate software and a lot of information if you're really bothered to read it. So there it is, the tiny little SSD, which I love the form factor. It's only about nine centimeters that way by about eight centimeters wide. And look at that, less than a centimeter thick or thin, I should say. So you open it up, it's just so sleek. And that's basically, it fits into the palm of your hand. There is and that's all you've got really. You can see um, there a little bit of green on the outline. So the fast SSD, which was the predecessor was silver here. This is same form factor, same sizing, same dimensions, but it just come in a black color and you've got a green outline that goes around, which actually lights up when it's turned on in line with the Barracuda colors, which is really cool. And you can sort of see it in the reflection, a little bit green on the sides there. Now let's see the cables that we've got. Here is, okay, USB type A to USB C, which will go directly in. And the other one will be C to C, and that's exactly right. USB C to USB C. So if you've got both options there. If your computer doesn't have USB C just yet, you do have the other, other option. I'm glad they provided a cable for each as opposed to just an adapter. That way you can just keep the cable always there and then keep the C to C cable for the future when you do upgrade. But it is good to have it there in the USB-C form, which basically just plugs in. And there you go, just straight into the computer and you're ready to go. So we're just gonna take a quick look at it, plug it in, test it out and see how it goes. So the Barracuda Fast SSD is Seagate's entry into the SSD game. They've got the Fast SSD, the Firecuda SSD, and now the Barracuda Fast SSD, which they're using the same branding and same naming that they use for their hard drives, and it's good to see that carried across to the SSDs. Now you've got 500 gigs as the entry level, then one terabyte and two terabytes, which is awesome for an SSD because SSDs are finally attainable. It didn't make sense to jump from a hard drive to an SSD when they costed well over a thousand bucks, but now if you can get a two terabyte for under four or 500, then it makes a lot of sense. It does come formatted in expat, so it can be used on Mac and PC, but you will need to obviously reformat to Mac OS Journal or APFS if you do want Time Machine on your Mac. Now with our testing, we use Blackmagic, which does the read and write speed, and we returned around 475 megabytes per second on as an average across Windows and Mac. 
So Mac was a little bit quicker. It w got well over 500 megabytes, about at 510. And, but on average on PC and Mac, you're looking at around 575 megabytes read and write, which isn't exactly up to the 540 that they mentioned, but it's close enough. No one's ever gonna hit that 540 speed or any speed that is listed on any SSD. The form factor is brilliant because it's so small, you can just carry it in your pocket and it just works so well. It does come with three years warranty. So thank you Seagate for being so good with your warranty periods, which is a year more than their standard portable hard drives, which I appreciate because you're paying a lot more money for these SSDs and it's good to know that you are covered if you, something does happen to it in the future. Now we tested the IO meter with the two megabyte sequential and we compared some of the 4K performance and this does do better than the Samsung portable SSD, the T5. We also compared it to the Lacie portable SSD, which is essentially the same thing because Seagate and Lacie are one and the same. And it got quite similar speeds to the Lacie, but it did beat it. And then we compared to some of the other SSDs and it did really well. This was probably one of the quickest in almost all the testings that we did. One of the cool things is the green LED that pops up around when you do plug it in and when it is working, it actually makes it really cool, the green contrast on the black SSD. Just gives it that little bit of Hulk feeling and just makes it a little bit cooler. So nice work on that end. And the great thing is that it does have the USB-C and USB-A cables to be able to go into both, but overall it has performed insanely well. It's basically making me realize that maybe hard drives are a thing of the past and SSDs are the way forward. Obviously they are, but they just aren't that attainable. But now I'm sort of starting to think they, they are. And Seagate is making that possible. So thank you to Seagate for bringing such an awesome product and for helping us review these cool things because they are just so good. And for people that have laptops that don't have enough storage, you can just chuck an SSD in and actually install programs on it or even install your photos library on the SSD and just have it always plugged in because it isn't too much of a burden given that it's so small. So there it is. So there's our review of the Barracuda Fast SSD and it honestly is one of the best SSDs given that it's so small and so powerful at the same time. Most SSDs are pretty small, but this is less than a centimeter thin. It's got the USB-C and the USB-A input, and it also just has that cool green LED. So now I'm sort of thinking to myself whether it is worth investing in SSDs as opposed to hard drives, given that they do come in these big one and two terabyte sizes. I'm happy to trade a few terabytes. Let's say I get a two terabyte SSD. I'm happy to lose the space that a big hard drive would get a spinning disk old school hard drive that might have four or five terabytes, but if it means my speed is doubled or even tripled, especially for users that are installing applications on their portable hard drives or SSDs or running their photos through there, it's just gonna make things a lot quicker if you've got it on an SSD, which are also more reliable given that they have no magnetic spinning disks. So there's our review. Thanks for watching and tuning in. I hope this was of some use to you. We're gonna keep reviewing as many technological products as we can and keep pumping out videos so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos cheers